Today, parents learned a little more about the state's plan to reopen schools in August. And while the Alabama state school superintendent admitted he does not have all the answers, he said the state is doing everything it can to make the upcoming school year a success. Way 31's Alexis Scott spoke with parents about their thoughts and concerns. Several parents told me they still have a lot of questions when it comes to bringing their kids back. One mother told me she will be bringing her daughter back into the traditional classroom. And another already enrolled her child into virtual academy and says she doesn't plan on taking her out until there's a vaccine for coronavirus. We can learn so much from virtual, but until something is right in front of you, then, you know, and especially with, with emotional development, I don't think that we can learn as much of that without that physical interaction. Tara Webb Parker believes inside a school is the best place for her eight-year-old daughter to learn. She thinks that personal connection is needed, but Tawana Townsend thinks virtual learning is what's best for her young daughter. Virtual, digital is the way of the future, and so we have to change and we have to evolve and be adaptable. Both women told me they like having options, but Townsend said online learning gives her the ability to incorporate schoolwork with home activities to keep her daughter engaged. Being able to teach her how to cook um, and incorporating math into that, that has been interesting, uh, but it's been fun. Townsend and Webb Parker are looking forward to see how the school year will play out, but they know one thing is for sure. They'll do whatever is needed for their child because education is a top priority. Regardless of if the dishes need to be washed, laundry needs to be done, or, you know, we've got to do 15 tasks of work, we have to be able to put that child, that child's needs ahead of whatever else we've got going on. The state superintendent said he and local boards of education are constantly in talks about changing plans. And right now, they're still figuring out the details of how to be creative in and out of the classroom. Reporting in Huntsville, Alexis Scott, Way 31 News. Thank you, Alexis. Schools do not have a set deadline as to when they need to have their reopening plans in place.